This interview is being brought to you by BabyFightGear.com. Baby Fight Gear is dedicated to providing a single source for children's mixed martial arts. Inspired clothing, the softer side of tough sports. Our clothing is available in sizes newborn to toddler. <clears throat> hey guys, this is Mark Anderson from LateNightMMA.com. This is the UFC 152 main card prediction video. So let's get started, guys, and let's talk about a fight that should be pretty exciting. We got Charles Oliveira. He's going to be taking on Cub Swanson. And Cub Swanson is a really exciting fighter. He loves to stand and bang, and he's coming off back-to-back -back TKO victories. He got wins over George Roop and Ross Pearson, um, two really good fighters. So, you know, right now... Cubs got his game going. Now let's talk a little bit here about Charles Oliveira. And uh, Charles is also coming off back-to-back -back wins. Um, both were submission victories, so both fighters here are coming off finishes and uh, should lead for an exciting fight. Um, Charles defeated Eric Wisely and Jonathan Brookins. And uh, Brookins is a really good fighter, and so is Wisely, so uh, he's got confidence heading into this fight. Now this fight will be grappler versus striker and when i had to do my predictions this was a really tough one to pick but i decided i'm going to go with cub swanson i think he'll be able to keep it standing and i think he can knock him out this might be a first or second round knockout but i will be going with cub swanson okay next up we got roger hollett and he's taking on matt hamill and this fight was on and then off and then on again um Roger got pulled from the fight due to contract issues. He was replaced by the janitor. The janitor got hurt, and now this fight is going down. So we got Hamill versus Roger here, and uh, just talk a little bit here about Roger. Roger's won five fights in a row. This will be his UFC debut, though. Um, his previous fight was in Bellator. He beat a friend of the program, Big John Hawk. Controversy. It was a split decision. Could have gone either way in my opinion, but he got that win, and that's his biggest win of his career. Now, Matt Hamill, he retired last August. Um, decided he had enough with the sport, and he announced his retirement. Everything was cool. Um, he's coming off losses to Quinn and Rampage Jackson and uh, Gustafson. So uh, he announced his retirement. Now he's coming back out of retirement for this fight. Both guys have had long layoffs because, you know, I was looking at the fight and I'm like, well, Hamill's been out for 13 months, you know, maybe he's not going to come in at 100%. Well, he's going to come in at 100% health, but, you know, he wouldn't have had a recent fight in the Octagon, so you could think Roger could take advantage of that. But Roger hasn't had a fight in 10 months, so really, you can't go that way. And when you're breaking this fight down, you look at Matt Hamill's wins in his career. He's beat guys like Tito Ortiz, you know, uh, Tim the Barbarian Boach. He's got a win over. And Roger just hasn't faced that type of competition. So breaking this fight down, you got to go with Matt Hamill. So moving down the list here, uh, we got Michael Bisping versus Brian Stan. And this should be a really good fight. Uh, Brian comes into the fight with a KO victory over Alessio Sakura. And um, that fight went down this past April in Sweden. So he's, you know, he's got his game back on. Meanwhile, Bisping. Bisping's coming into this fight. Um, his last fight was the uh, loss to Chael Sonnen. A lot of fans think he won that fight. I personally do too. So, you know, breaking that down, you got to think... You know, Bisping beat Sonnen. Stan lost to Sonnen as well, but he got pretty much dominated, in my opinion. That was Sonnen's fight from start to finish. And, uh, yeah, and that's kind of how I see this fight going down, guys. I think um, Bisping's just going to take Stan down. You don't want Stan with uh, Brian Stan. He'll knock you the fuck out. So what's going down here, Michael Bisping will take this fight to the ground and just try and do some ground and pound and eke out a decision. That's how I see this fight going down. So my prediction here is uh, Michael Bisping. Okay, moving along, we've got Joseph Benavides. 
He's taking on Demetrius Johnson, and this is going to be for the Flyweight Championship. This was originally the main event. Very excited for this fight. Let's see here. Uh, Benavides. He's been on quite the run. He's won four fights in a row, and uh, he's 16-2 and two in his career, and the only guy he ever lost to was Dominic Cruz, um, who's probably one of the best fighters in the world. I've seen him on a lot of pound-for-pound -pound rankings. So, you know, that's why I'm going to be going here with uh, Benavides. But let's just talk about Johnson for a minute. Johnson's 15-2-1. He looked awesome in his last fight, I think this past June, against Ian McCall. And he's heading in looking good, too. Now, you know the strength advantage is going to belong to Joseph. And the speed is always going to go in the favor of Demetrius Johnson. So, we'll see how it goes. I see the power advantage being a little too much for Demetrius Johnson in this fight. And I'm going to give my prediction here. It's going to be Joseph Benavides getting the win. Okay, finally, John Bones Jones versus Vitor Belfort for the lightweight champ light heavyweight championship. Bones Jones, let's see, 16-1 in his MMA career, and that one loss was the DQ to uh, Matt Hamill. Really not a loss in people's minds. So, you know, the guy's realistically undefeated, and he's been getting looking better and better every fight out, as far as I'm concerned. You know, he looked really good in the Rashad fight. Rashad had nothing for him. And uh, Vitor, Vitor is 21-9 in his MMA career. He's moving back up to light heavyweight following his uh, most recent fight against Anthony Rumble Johnson this past winter. So, I really want to go with Vitor here. I just can't pull the trigger on this one. I just think that this is Bones Jones' win, you know? And it kills me to do this because I still have hate on for Bones Jones. You know, the guy fucked me over on my airfare to Vegas. I was flying out to UFC 151 to do interviews with a bunch of the fighters. I'm still fucking bitter about that. But when you're breaking down fights, you're trying to make predictions, you got to put that aside. And Jones Bones is just freaking dominant right now, and I don't see him losing any fights anytime soon. So... To recap my picks, I got Cub Swanson, Matt Hamill, Michael Bisping, Joseph Benavides, and John Bones Jones. Be sure to hit up the website, guys. It's www.latenightmma.com. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks very much. Later.